a lot of people are kind of triggered about the genre of street videos, specifically people from the traditional polyglot community. And both Walter and I have done these and there's a whole genre. And to be honest, it's kind of caused a little stir. Do we really, really need to have these you know, white guy speaks perfect Chinese and shocks the locals. You hate the shocks natives videos. Oh, oh. a little. <laughs> the problem with the whole polyglot subculture on YouTube is not that it's encouraging people to study languages. It, they make me uncomfortable they, um, yeah. for a lot of reasons. Oh yeah. Um, enough. It's encouraging people to pursue money, fame, power, respect, sex by living a lie. This is today's debate topic, and what better person to discuss this with than someone who has also done language videos out on the street. And now that I'm home, first let me introduce myself. 各位观众朋友大家好我是来自美国迪特利的安明目前住在日本东京你能看见我吗对我可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可
Oh my god, how do you speak Hindi? Oh, you know Hindi? Hindi. Oh, you know Hindi? Hindi. Oh, you know Hindi? Oh, you know Hindi? Oh, you know Hindi? Where there are tons of videos of Japanese guys speaking Hindi, uh, shocking Indians here in Tokyo, or a Japanese woman who speaks fluent Hindi. She's got an entire channel, over a million subscribers. It's not a white guy thing or Western thing. It's the, the fact that you wouldn't expect this person to know that language and they took the time to learn it. Mark Ore Ten. Oh, so go ahead. That's really, that's really nice. Good start. Thank you. Arigato. In Finnish is kiitos. 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 Stop showing off. You're such a narcissist. Why do you keep showing off? Most polyglots keep to themselves. Language learning and showing a language progress doesn't have to do anything with showing off because I'm always telling in my videos, look, like, yo, don't want mistakes, you'll mention that stuff, you know, like, so basically it's like showing the process, trying to get feedback and trying to improve and, right. and understand the culture and becoming a part of it. That's so it's right. not about showing off with language skills, what some people are saying, no, it's like someone who is learning a language which is totally different than his or her mother tongue. And of course, yeah. For That's me. true, and, and you wouldn't expect yeah. them to know it. So I've yeah. seen comments like, I'm a Chinese guy, I speak fluent English, nobody watches my videos. Have you ever gotten those? You don't really see people making those like, person shocks Americans with perfect English or whatever, like. I think it's a stupid comment because why bring up the international language of the world? Like, uh, it's the most studied foreign language in the whole world. So actually, uh, I'm very new in Kenya. I don't know much about Kenya. Papa, uh, Kenya Did you just speak in Swahili? Seriously? Hey, now I'm here. Dad, Dad, Safi. In Kenya, no matter what. Hey, speaking Swahili. Hey. Why do you need to show off, you narcissist? Why do you need to put it on YouTube? Why? Why film these conversations? Just keep it to yourself. You were bothering people all wrong. We told you. You're putting the camera on people's faces. You're bothering them. See, we told you. You're such a narcissist. If you don't like it, why are you watching it? Turn it off. I don't watch a lot of these videos. They don't have a lot of value to me. Actually, in my opinion, it's not about just showing off or anything, you know, like it is It is maybe the opposite, basically, because like I'm also like practicing my languages, which I speak at a low level, you know, so I'm also telling that like, <laughs> yo, I speak it on a basic level. I'm showing my mistakes. So it is not show, showing off. The, here's something I struggled with. Why tape it? Why do you feel the need to tape these moments? I've I've struggled with that. Like, why does it need to be filmed? Why not just have it to yourself? I've been here for almost 10 years, and in 2012, I didn't film anything. I don't have any footage from living in China, all these memories. I didn't start YouTube until about 2020, around then. And I started filming these experiences, and it's just good to have these memories and post them online for people to enjoy, for people to be inspired by, to really know what it's like to live here. So when when the polyglot community, the more traditional community, asks, Well, why can't you just keep it to yourself? Why do you have to show everybody? Great, you speak the language well. Just do something else with it. Why make this kind of video? <laughs> Why do you have to keep it to yourself? You're, you're so worldly. Why don't you get out of your room? Why can't you show the world outside your room? You're holding it, hoarding it like it's your own secret memories. And, and sure, you don't want to put everything online, but a little slice of life, I think there's value to that. What would you say to that? Why do you got to tape it, Walter? I already told like, hey, it's cool to share the process, to get feedback about your language levels. But also, I also think that people are... Um, Sometimes like basically seeing how much we are struggling, how hard it is, they can be very inspired. The only thing that uh, really turned me off about the street videos, uh, the titles specifically, was using words like stupid, white guy, clueless, stupid, foreigner in an Asian country, doesn't know anything. Because those are the kind of stereotypes that we have to deal with living here. People think we're clueless, don't know anything. We've been here for 10 years and that is quite frustrating. So no need to lay it on that thick, stupid foreigner. People say, oh, it's just clickbait. You just got to understand the algorithm. No, there, there's an, a way of doing it, but it does take more effort. It does take a lot more thinking and effort to to get around the, the cheap stuff, the the easy stuff, you know, it's going to get a lot of views, but perhaps is a little misleading. So one thing that I think we have different opinions about is, you know, the idea of criticizing ideas. 
Okay, so the title is a lie. Let's just call it what it is. It's not misleading. It's not a bit clickbaity. It's a straight up lie. For example, adults be can become fluent in a month or a week or whatever. Just to give Nathaniel a rest here, Ikenna does a similar thing. Only Ikenna doesn't put quite as many caveats on it. There have been a few videos like that where somebody did say something Although very, very few, because I think that most people didn't want the backlash, even though there wasn't much backlash. Just, uh, you know, bookworms. A bookworm to, an, to another group of bookworms, like, this is a study subject. Don't be afraid to debate it. Don't be afraid to even disagree with me. That's totally fine. That's why we're having a conversation today, right? So nothing wrong with, with criticizing someone, like, as long as it's constructive, you know, like, and um, you can also think about someone's idea, basically, someone's intention for making sort of content or learning yeah. a language a certain way then yeah definitely we can uh we can criticize each other somebody uh criticized critiqued my chinese and i really appreciated that because she did it in a very nice way it was well-meaning and she said things that were true and i think that's good what's wrong with that why can't we talk about whoever we want to talk about I, I didn't say there's, there's anything wrong, you know, like, I mean, it's it's all about the tone, you know, like, so when we are criticizing each other, I, I think it's fine as long when we uh, are also respecting each other. Like, yeah, and there's, there's general, there's general trolling yeah. and harassment as well, and those comments are unwanted, and they're unwanted on my channel, too. Some people are criticizing me, like, for not being fluent in, in these languages, right? But, I mean, it's also not my goal, you know, like, I mean, as I said, I speak six languages on, um, yeah deep conversational level, the other 23 at a more basic level, but I, yeah, I sort of like a plan to improve them slowly. So people can criticize me, but I should, uh, I also respect if they criticize me in my goals, you know what I mean? So I don't want my, to change my goals for them. So for example, some people ask me like, hey, what, why should you not like learn six languages or C2 level, for example? I just don't want that. It's not my goal. You know what I mean? So of course yeah. people can criticize me. That's the reason why I make content. Like I make a bunch of mistakes. But I always tell people like, yo, I, I'm a basic, I have a basic level, for example, in Chinese, like the video which I made with you. And constructive criticism is more than welcome so I can improve. That's also basically my intention of making videos, basically. In the beginning, I was kind of turned off by the street videos as well, like a lot of the more yeah. traditional polyglots. Mm -hmm. I've, I've sensed their, their frustration in this, and I can understand it. The three-minute conversations, like, what is that? that? That's what we're studying for, really, I think. I was always disappointed about that. Do you feel like you're really making that big of a connection with people in those little street talks? It's a good question. Like, um, there's like always a sort of like, uh, like, like problem. People are often in rush. So when I practice languages on the streets, it is basically more about, you know, building up confidence, you know, like starting a conversation and just using the language. It's more like a way in order to get used to the language and basically like making a lot of mistakes, stuff like that. Um, at the same time, I also think like those conversations are short because you don't know those people. It's pretty awkward <laughs> sometimes. So it, it is not easy, basically. We should not underestimate how hard it is. So for example, with a basic yeah. conversation, like you're learning to understand what someone is saying. And if someone is liking you, what you're doing, like often I, I had new friendships after that. Like, how do you say it? Like um, deeper friendships, thanks to languages, whatever, or studying languages to make friends, whatever, you know, like, I, I think definitely people can become motivated because they see like, okay, this is possible thanks to language learning. Language learning and my struggles and my frustrations. That's right. And that's a big fear. That's a big fear that everybody has. And there are some language gurus who are afraid to show their other languages because they're weaker and they don't want to make mistakes in front of people. They don't want to ruin that that image. It's almost like a cult-like following. And I, I think that's too bad. I think that's going to limit them. And uh, if they're not willing to go out there and be brave, if they're not perfect, my Japanese is not perfect. It's not as good as my Chinese, but I'll put it out there. And um, I think it, it it humanizes the process of language learning, it encourages people because if if you put this image out there that you're you're so perfect, well, other people are are not going to get there for years and years and years. They're not going to want to talk, not going to want to practice. It's okay to make mistakes, right? It's okay to make mistakes. Look at the video which we did. You know, <laughs> I also asked uh, for mistakes. You know, like and the thing is also like, um, for example, like like sometimes parts which are not possible to do I'll give you one example so if it would be also possible to show all the people would dismiss me when I spoke languages or something like that or reacted 
very awkwardly, like awkward silences, stuff like that, you know, or showing that I didn't <laughs> you're like it. Get a lot of hate, Walter, well, because well, they're gonna confirm. Well, See, you were bothering people all along. We told you. I would also <laughs> use it because it's a part of the process. Like, if I could do a compilation of like the day with the, you know, the different reactions, also with the more negative reactions, I would also put it in a video. But you know what the problem is? These people are not giving permission to upload that content, you know, so I cannot use the footage. So the reason why we also see like the very positive reactions is also like because I get permission to use that content, you know. It, that, that goes into another another subject entirely, but um, I think that people will approve or disapprove of what you do based on whether they like you or not, and that's totally subjective, so don't worry about that too much. Um, but it was interesting to talk to you about this. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I really, thanks for for having me here. I think it's really great to have this debate. Go check out Walter's channel for our video where I correct his Chinese. Did a video for that on my channel, which people can all see if they want. Right. But uh, yeah. Yeah. So go check that out on Walter's channel to see our video. Can you give us a sample? Just for fun. Uh, sí, claro. Puedo comenzar en español. Quiero decir que estoy practicando los idiomas porque siempre me gusta. Leer y las culturas son ya yeah, un parte de, de la vida y creo que los idiomas son muy interesantes para conocer otras personas y también siempre me gusta mirar por ejemplo documentales en otros idiomas y también me gusta yeah, por ejemplo hablar contigo sobre asuntos diferentes y creo que es siempre muy interesante por ya yeah, para hablar por ejemplo chino uh, pero mi nivel no es muy muy bien. Um, Nou, Nederlands is mijn moedertaal. Ik denk dat het niet heel boeiend is om dat te spreken. Dus daar sla ik even over. Also, ja, Deutsch is dan ook een spraak die, uh, die is voor een, een lange tijd geleerd hebben. Want ja, iemand, iemand glaube ik dat andere tieren, tieren ook interessant zijn. Also, ik uh, leef dat iemand, ja, ik glaube dat het goed is voor mijn zelfsontwikkeling. Uh, andere, ja, docufilms aan te schouwen en dan zo aan te schouwen wie tieren überleven kunnen. Ik glaube, ik glaube dat het iemand interessant is. Also, ja, mijn Deutsch is niet fließend, glaube ik, maar Meine Gedanken fließen in, in meinem Kopf und ja, ich kann ja viele Ausdrücke kann ich benutzen auf Deutsch und ich habe das auch vor ein paar Jahren gelernt und immer ja liebe ich das zu reden mit meinen Freunden. Also ja, aber ja, ich werde das nicht fließend, aber und dann spreche ich auch Französisch. Uh, J'aime toujours uh, parler français aussi et je pense que c'est très important pour connaître des uh, autres mentalités. En fait, j'aime voyager, j'aime connaître des autres personnes et je pense que uh, oui, c'est très bien pour moi pour étudier des langues. Mais c'est toujours comme ça, je ne peux pas traduire des, des idées que j'ai dans la tête directement parce que c'est très difficile. Um, mais yeah, j'aime aussi faire la cuisine avec uh, ma copine, uh, j'aime les traditions d'Ivan et je pense que c'est très bien. Um, yeah, which other? Eu também posso falar português também é um idioma que eu gosto muito de praticar. Mas agora eu quero começar com o seu, a sua ideia, com o seu, com o, com o sua, com o seu projeto. Sim. Então, nós podemos começar. Okay. That, yeah. These were the languages. Just a short. Uh... Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing, and, and you speak them all on different levels, but those are some of your strongest, or some of your favorites, maybe? All right, well, Walter, thank you very much for today. It yeah. was great talking to you. Yes, and let's go. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck with your Chinese studies. I hope I helped. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Right. That was friggin' awesome, wasn't it? And if you're interested in getting started with any language like I did many years ago with Japanese and now I'm doing with Korean, download Pimsleur in the link below. It'll have you speaking really fast through its audio lessons. And thanks for watching today's video. Bye-bye!